Joining me now is a familiar face to many of us here at 100 Huntley Street, Danielle Strickland. Hi. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, it's a privilege. We're talking about a really cool initiative that you launched called, uh, called Infinitum, which is a, you describe as a practice for those who follow Jesus. So tell me, what is it? Yeah, so basically I think sometimes we think that uh, following Jesus is just something we believe. And I, I do think it is something we believe, but it's more than that. It's something we do. It's something we practice. Mm. And it's a daily decision that we make to follow Jesus. That's the other thing. So Infinitum uh, is a practice that a bunch of people who were traveling together saying like, are we really following Jesus? And what does following Jesus look like? And what are the ways in which I can enter in, you know, practices I can do that will help me make this real in my life? Infinitum is, is a collection of those things. Did you start this because you maybe saw a lack or uh, you know, a sense that we weren't putting things into practice? Yeah, I think there were a whole bunch of things. Like for 25 years, I've been trying to help people follow Jesus and discipleship training schools, but also just leading people into relationships with Jesus, but also working with leaders who actually are following Jesus professionally, if you know what I mean. Like it's what they're supposed to be doing. And just watching sort of burnout and people not really experiencing the abundant life that we say that the gospel is. Uh, or even just people who are trying to follow Jesus, but it ends up just being a whole bunch of more stuff to know. Mm -hmm. And nothing that's really inter, uh, intersecting with their actual everyday life. And so it was a combination of these things. And we just thought a bunch of us who were doing this together even just challenged ourselves. Like, what are we doing that help us to tap into this abundant life? Like, what is Jesus asking us to do on a daily basis? And what do we do, not just believe, but what do we do that helps us move closer and closer to that uh, person of Christ? That's really cool. So how does that look like then in your everyday life? How does that walk out? Yeah, so we have some rhythms uh, that we practice. So basically daily, I do a, a daily prayer and uh, we offer this at infinitumlife.com, but it's just uh, a daily way of praying. We call it postures that we practice. So Jesus, if Jesus is the center of our life, he's really clear in the scriptures that what that should look like is love. We should love God and love others. And if it doesn't look like love, I often say, then it's not Jesus mm -hmm. because he's super clear about this in the scriptures, that God is love. So it's going to look like love. But the problem is in our culture is what does love look like? That's what I was thinking. Right. It's like, who says so? Is it sentiment? Uh, is it is anemic? It is it tough? Right. And so we really just distilled our practice down to three postures that we think are what love looks like in real life. One is surrender. So this is where we just say, we get that this life is bigger than us and we surrender ourselves to God. Not just our best selves, but also our worst selves, like all our burdens and our fears, but also all our gifts and our possibilities. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a posture of surrender. So I start my day off kind of holding my hands up saying like, I surrender to God today. God, you're in charge of my life today. Uh -huh. I think that's what love looks like when it comes to a right relationship with God. And the second posture is generosity. And this is what I call open-handed living in a closed-fisted culture. And it's simply saying, I'm going to open my hands to receive, which is a big, this was a big learning curve for me, because I used to believe that generosity was something I had to conjure up. And now I understand that it's actually freely given from what I freely receive, which Jesus was pretty clear about. And love's actually the greatest uh, part of this, isn't it? Is we're loved, so then we become loving towards others. Mm -hmm. So we, I do this with my kids before they leave for school too. We just open our hands and I say, you know, what do you need for today? And this has been such a life-changing practice for me. It's just like, what do I need today? You know, and oftentimes, well, it's always wisdom. It's almost always mercy. By 8 a.m. I'm out. I have three boys. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, what is it? Is it vision that you need? Is it, and you have this inexhaustible resource of heaven, Jesus says, that when you follow Jesus, you have all of what the Father has, which is everything that you need for today. So I ask for what I need for today. And then I just make a conscious decision to keep my hands open so that everything that I've received is everything I have to give as well. And I look for where I can give out what I've received today. And the final posture is a posture of mission. That's where I hold my hands out, kind of in a big hug. And I say to the least, to the last, to the lost in the world, but also to those closest to me, I am here for you. And it's what I call an others focused posture. And again, it's just about getting yourself out of the very center of every narrative and putting Jesus there and then acting like him in the world. I feel like I just want to take like 10, <laughs> 10 minutes and think on each of those things. It's yeah. so life giving. Yeah, surrender, generosity and mission. And what I do is every day I posture, I practice the postures of those. So I start with a daily prayer. 
uh, once a week, I connect with another person and we ask each other how we're going, like what's happening in surrender, generosity, and mission. Like, is this really what your life looks like or are we just saying fancy words again? And then uh, once a month, Infinitum, if you wanna sign up, sends you out a challenge, which is really something someone else has done that is spiced up and helped them in their following of Jesus. And you can sort of practice it too, if you want. I love it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for sharing a little bit about it. If you yeah, wanna find it. out more, go to infinitumlife.com mm -hmm. and all the resources will be there for you. We'll be right back.